and uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome back to this video on bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is a biological phenomenon which occurs naturally in a number of plants and animals. It's a type of chemiluminescence in which the light is emitted by means of chemical reaction. The best example for this is firefly which uh, possesses a torchlight like argon on its abdomen. Uh, from this argon the firefly is capable of uh, emitting light. So this is due to a phenomenon called bioluminescence. In this video I will explain about the mechanism of bioluminescence. However, I have already prepared a video and uploaded on YouTube on Firefly. Please watch it. Bioluminescence is a biological phenomenon which occurs in many animals and plants. It's a type of luminescence. It's actually emission of light from a substance that does not arise from heating. If light arises from heating, it's called incandescence. There are many types of luminescence. Three are very important biologically. They are fluorescence, phosphorescence and bioluminescence. In this video, I'll focus on bioluminescence. It's a form of chemical reaction, hence it is called chemiluminescence, emission of light followed by a chemical reaction. It is exhibited by several plants and animals. One of the best examples for this is firefly. You can see here the firefly emitting light because of bioluminescence the amount of light emitted is actually quite larger than the size of the animals. The amount of energy utilized here also is very little. It's an amazing biological phenomenon. In this you can see the jellyfish. Even jellyfish also exhibit bioluminescence. There are several animals in the animal kingdom that exhibit bioluminescence. Bioluminescence involves some light emitting molecules. There are two important chemicals that are involved in bioluminescence. They are luciferin and luciferase. One more little video about a firefly in which you can see the firefly emitting light. Luciferase is the enzyme that requires cofactors, calcium, magnesium and ATP. It converts luciferin into oxyluciferin and this chemical reaction results in the emission of light. This is luciferase enzyme which is extracted from the firefly photo photinus pyralis. This is luciferin, the chemical that is involved in bioluminescence, which is converted to oxyluciferin by luciferase enzyme. Bioluminescence, as I mentioned earlier, occurs in wide variety of animals and plants. About 76% of the deep sea animals known to exhibit luminescence. Chemistry of bioluminescence is actually very simple. Luciferin in the presence of oxygen and in the presence of luciferase enzyme is converted into oxyluciferin plus light is emitted. Luciferin, the chemical that is involved in bioluminescence in the presence of oxygen and in the presence of the enzyme luciferase is converted into oxyluciferin plus emission of light and that is what is bioluminescence. Anglerfish is a peculiar animal which has 
an organ, lantern like organ in front of its mouth called Esca. And this lantern actually glows up. And even this light that is emitted in ESCA is because of symbiotic bacteria which are bioluminescent. Actually, anglerfish is not bioluminescent. Symbiotic bacteria that are there in ESCA are bioluminescent. Small animals like small fish get attracted by this light. They come near the mouth and they enter into the mouth of uh, the anglerfish and thus the anglerfish consumes them. So it's a method of predation. It's a type of predation because bioluminescence is exhibited by anim animals for several reasons. It may be predation, it may be uh, protection, it may be defense or it may be even mating or courtship. So there are several reasons why animals uh, exhibit bioluminescence. Another jellyfish. Uh, pine cone fish also exhibit uh, bioluminescence. It possesses some organs called photophores in which bioluminescence occurs. There is a region or there is a small island of uh, Somalia in Indian Ocean and it's uh, about uh, 250 kilometers in length. This uh, part of the sea where the islands are there is uh, full of dinoflagellates which are bioluminescent. And this is a picture taken from uh, sky, from space, where you can see this region uh, looks like a milky sea. And this is popularly called milky sea. And milky sea is uh, actually because of bioluminescent uh, dinoflagellates. This is the seashore with bioluminescent organisms, which lights up in the night because of bioluminescence. Same again in one more picture these are bioluminescent uh, mushrooms these are called glow worms which also exhibit bioluminescence there are many animals and plants which exhibit even fungi exhibit bioluminescence bioluminescence phenomenon has been utilized by biotechnologists the gene coding for this bioluminescence Pro enzyme and protein luciferase gene was first cloned into tobacco plant in 1986. What you are seeing is a tobacco plant which is glowing in the night in which the genes responsible for bioluminescence have been cloned. So this phenomenon is now widely used in both plants and animals. Here the bioluminescent genes are cloned into plants you can see the plants are glowing, the flowers are glowing because they have genes for bioluminescence. This is an interesting phenomenon you can see here. The rats have been cloned with luciferase gene. In the left side you can see three are uh, glowing in fluorescent green color. They are actually cloned ones. The black colored ones are not cloned ones. And this was achieved by the scientists in Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore a few years back and one year later even a cat was cloned with the same gene so you have both uh, glowing rats and glowing cats it's a biotic game of Tom and Jerry game you can create because you can have both rats which are glowing with the fluorescent green color same way even the cats also are glowing with green fluorescent color Photophores are the organs which are responsible for bioluminescence, which are there in different organs. They contain the uh, um, cascade of enzymes that are required and proteins that are required for bioluminescence. What scientists have done is they have uh, transferred this uh, cascade of genes into plants, especially avenue trees, so that you can make the avenue trees glow at night. You don't require street lights. We have these trees which are having bioluminescent genes. 
it's actually an artistic uh, imagination of an avenue tree with uh, bioluminous engine which is not a reality yet but this is what is going to be uh, the type of uh, uh, street light that you may have in future where avenue trees may contain bioluminescent genes and you don't have to use electricity to glow your streets that is what is the future uh, that is what is the future prospect of uh, bioluminescence thank you very much for watching this video please like share and subscribe thank you very much thank you very much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel Thank you very much.